Hi, I'm Alan. I just recently heard about a new cell phone service called Visible. That is some of their packaging. That is what they send the SIM in. And they are new, um, still in testing, and only for the iPhone. Their claim is for $40, you get unlimited data, phone calls, text messaging. It doesn't expire after you get to a certain point. It is supposed to be unlimited. The only warning is it's 5 megabits per second up and down. So it is throttled, and you are never going to get faster than, than 5 megabits per second. It's similar to Cricket. Cricket is 8. Cricket is actually faster, and Cricket works, as I'll tell you in a minute. Visible has a lot of problems. Uh, it's a it's a it's a new service. You have to download the app. The app controls your phone, controls the the speed. Um, the when I first got the the SIM card and inserted it, I had service. Then I didn't have service. Then I had service. Then I didn't have service. And it seems to go in and out. And if you look at the the different threads on Reddit it and other places. Um, People have to toggle airplane mode on and off in order to get data working. That is not good cell phone service. It should just it should just work and keep working, but it it doesn't. Now, also, if you use Visible, it, your service can be deprioritized. In other words, it's not throttled. Well, it is throttled at five, but they are not going to cut you off after you use so many gigabytes of data. But if you get into a, a crowded area or an area where lots of other Verizon phones are being used, then you will be slowed down even more beyond the, the five that you already have. This is supposed to be an independent service. Verizon is helping to fund it. The, the president is a former Verizon executive. It, it's interesting. I looked up the address, and it is in a, a, a work-sharing space. So it appears they don't have their own offices, that they're sharing their offices with with another company or renting renting space um, in a job sharing or office sharing type meeting place. Their customer service is just not that good. You cannot call them. The only way you can get a hold of them is through social media, uh, Facebook, chatting, and when you do get a hold of them, each incident is, is treated as an almost new one. It's like they don't have your previous call. And yes, I've called them because I am unable to receive calls on my number. And it's been like that, and they say... They tell me my situation's different, and, and they've escalated it, and it's, it's going to be fixed. But last night, I was chatting to see what the status is, but if you don't have your phone, the representatives are pretty well tied. And what they're going to do is they're going to ask you to check the frequently asked questions on their website. And the other thing they're going to do is is the same thing, reset your your network settings to see if that helped. Well, I've reset my network settings so many times now I can do it in my sleep. It doesn't solve the problem. 
the the problem is is somewhere in the network. It's it's not the the phone. Uh, fortunately, for the past few days, I do have service, um, but because of the problems, I asked for a new SIM, and they were supposed to overnight me the SIM. This was Thursday, so I'd receive it on Friday. That didn't happen, but what they did is they disconnected the, the SIM that was in the phone and put the one that they were overnighting to me on my account, which immediately cut off my phone. So I had no service, and my no service Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and most of Monday until my SIM arrived. Once the SIM arrived, I put it in, and then I had service. Um, and this just was not a good way of, of doing it. And so you see, it says visible LTE. Now this service is just LTE service. There is no fallback to CDMA, if you know what that is. In other words, if you only have 4G LTE service. And if you are in an area that doesn't have it, or a weak area, it's it's not it's not going to work. But the problem I'm having is when I dial the number, my number. This is the uh, this is the message I get. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. We're unable to complete your call. To speak to a customer service representative. Please hang up and dial star 611. Announcement 3500. This, this phone is on Verizon, but when I call, it's almost like it doesn't work. And that is uh, Google Voice. And it, it doesn't matter which phone I use because that that is the issue that comes up. And it's it's not an issue with my phone because it's working it's working just fine. And it continues to work fine. I can make phone calls uh, without an issue. And uh, this is the atomic US clock. Naval Observatory Master Clock. At the tone, Mountain, Daylight Time, 9 hours, 35 minutes, 30 seconds. Universal time. And so that works, that works fine, but calling my visible number, it does not. Um, it is adequate for streaming. I've used it for Facebook streaming, but it's not reliable. In other words, you, if, you short, if you stream a short, uh, a short, a part of whatever you like to stream. Stream it, it works. If you go a little longer, I was streaming a parade, which was about 15 minutes of, of streaming on Facebook Live. Towards the end, the video just faded out. It was like it was out of focus. It was gone. And I'm standing out in the middle of the street. And I'll post the uh, that part of the video after this one to the end of it if you want to see what happens it was nice and sharp and clear and it just faded out and my phone was saying trying to reconnect and it never did reconnect what i ended up doing was restarting my phone in order to get the service back it's it's not reliable based on on reports and and it just dropping out completely and i think I've experienced it, not recently, but but it, it's an issue. It's not something that you can rely on. And then if you're receiving phone calls with it, I just, I didn't port my number over. I just took a beta number to see, uh, to test it out and try it. And, and of course, that number is not working. And, and I've asked them to maybe just give me a new number so that I could have service and and they they're unable to solve it. The pro and the way I see it is their their customer service is outsourced, um, contracted. It's not part of the visible company, from what I can see. 
and then the technical support is not part of visible. In other words, if they need technical support, they have to go and co contact Verizon, and Verizon has to solve the problem and get back. I mean, I've been told, well, it's 20, 24 to 48 hours, could take three to five days, and they'll get it fixed. And nothing seems to change, nothing seems to be working. And, and they don't communicate back with you to give you a status update. I mean, a text message would be nice or something along those lines, but they don't even do that. And then when you call them, it, it's like you're starting over again with a completely new, uh, new incident, new problem, and it, it doesn't solve the issue. So 40 bucks, good price, streaming at five up and the five down, is adequate for Facebook, but the service is not reliable. You're, you're better off putting your money on another cell phone provider, um, getting three, four, five gigabytes and, and streaming from there. And if you go over, just paying the, the overage because then you'll have full speed streaming and it will work for you. This, it's not working. They, they, they supposedly escalated it three or four times and that doesn't seem to be solving anything. And, uh, and like I said, it, it's, been, it's been over a week where I cannot receive phone calls. And, and that's just not an acceptable way to do business. And I'll, I'll post the video that, that faded out. I'll post that after. I'll attach it to this one and, and add it so you can watch it and check it out. But I'd stay away from visible. I mean, you could try it. It might work with for you, but uh, I think there's a lot better options out there besides Visible. Yeah. Uh -huh.